Right? Last part of chapter 10. 10.6, otherwise known as 9.3 in your book, which is circles in a coordinate plane. Students will be able to, that means you, the students, write an equation of a circle inside the coordinate plane, understand the standard um, equation of a circle, find the equation of a circle from a graph, and graph a circle based on an equation. An equation. This All right, here we go. First off, you guys should know what the basic equation of a circle is. If you don't, I'm going to show you today. So, first thing you have to do is R. What do you think R stands for? Well, our equation is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So you need to know what these things are. So, R is your radius. Very good. We went over radius multiple times. Zero, zero. What do you think zero, zero is? That's your center. That's the center point of your graph. All right. So you got x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So um, you're going to use your x and your y. That's just a point on your graph. All right. That r goes to. Write an equation of the circle. So the way the equation of the circle so shown, you are going to use the radius is first thing establish what the radius is. Look at the numbers right here. All right. Each one of these units goes up by one. So the radius is 1, 2, all right? The center, where is the center at? Now, for a basic equation of a circle, the center is always the same. It's always going to be at the origin, which is 0, 0. All right, so now you're going to use that information to solve your equation, okay? Now, um, 0, 0 just means you're going to use x squared plus y squared. It means you don't have to do anything strange with that. Now, the formula says x squared plus y squared equals radius squared. So you have to take whatever your radius is, it's squared. So 2 squared is 4. So your actual equation is x squared plus y squared equals 4. And that's it. All right? Now, moving on to the next question. I want you guys to find the equations of circles number 2 and 3. <coughs> Use the equation x squared, y squared, r squared. So x squared plus y squared stays the same. All you have to do is find the radius. Units here you should use are 2, 2, 4, 6, 8. So that is indeed your radius. So x squared plus y squared equals 8 squared. 8 squared is indeed 64. All right, nice and easy. Problem 3. The units here go up by 1. The units are the key. Make sure you have the correct unit. If you want to count up, if you want to count down, if you want to count to the left, they all equal the same thing, and they all equal 3. All right? That's your radius. You're going to square it. 3 squared is 9. So it's x squared plus y squared equals 9. All right? Any questions? Hopefully not, because this is the easiest part of the lesson. Now let's take it up a little notch, okay? So basic equations are simple because you don't have to do anything with the x and the y's. Now, if you move your center, notice the equation gets a little more tricky. So your center is going to be given two letters. Why did they pick up two letters? It's the two letters they want to pick. Um, it's going to be h k so this is going to be h k your h is however many you go to the right your x value and your k is how many you go up or down which is your y value so h is horizontal k is vertical okay like x y <coughs> radius is still r right so this is your equation because the x the h comes first as related to your x it's x minus h Oh, yeah. Oh, that goes to point x, y. h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So you keep your r squared. The only thing different is when you have a center, it's x minus the first point, y minus the y coordinate. All right? So, and it's always minus. Make sure you use minus and not plus. Sorry. Shoulder went on me. All right, so let's look at an equation to see how easy this is. Write the standard equation of a circle with the center. 0, 5, and a radius of 3.7. So the first thing you have to do is, what is the equation of the circle? Right there. Now, let's plug it. Our center, x-coordinate, y-coordinate. X is, or h is 0, um, k is 5. So, h is first, k is second. So it's x minus 0 squared, plus y minus 5 squared, equals your radius, which is 3.7 squared. All right? Now, x minus 0 is simply x. So you got x squared plus y minus 5, just stays y minus 5. You don't have to expand it. Equals, and then you want to um, 
square your radius, you can round to the hundreds. The tenths is fine too, 13.7, but it equals an answer. And that's your answer. That's it. Simplify, I should say simple. No. So what I want you guys to do is write the standard equation of these three questions. Oh, in case I was in your way. Just move out. Oh, they're left there anyway. So five, six, and seven. Go. <clears throat> Let's see if you got it. So the equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. H, k, x minus zero squared, y minus negative nine squared. 4.2 squared. Minus a negative is a positive. So your answer is x squared. Everything minus zero is itself. Y plus 9 squared equals 17.64. Good. And I'm rounding it to the hundreds just because I want to. Um, right here. Center zero is zero. That's a basic equation. You can always use this equation to find basic equations too because look what happens. X squared, y squared, and then you just square the radius. So it looks like it does normally by plugging it in here. That's why your basic equation is what it is. I didn't want to explain it to you before because then I'd have to get to this and then go backwards, which would be confusing. Ready? HK minus negative two minus five. Oh, my color didn't come out. Um, da, 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 plus minus x plus two squared y minus five quantity squared equals forty nine. Don't forget to square your radius. That's the biggest problem you usually have. You good? Awesome. All right, so write the standard equation of the circle for A. Ready? Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? All right. These are the two toughest ones. You guys figure out what to do? This is harder than anything I'll test you on, but I do like to go above and beyond what we need to do. So we need to find the radius. You're not given the radius. You have two points. How do you find the radius if you're only given two points? You have to find the what between the two points. Because the D, I, S, T. If you said distance, you're correct, and you need to use your distance formula. X2 minus X1, the difference horizontally, squared plus Y2 minus 1, the distance vertically, difference of the distance vertically, squared, right? You're using like a little Pythagorean theorem here. Um, all right, so we're going to find the distance between these two in order to find the radius. So, X2, this will be our second point, negative 3. Minus negative one squared quantity squared minus or sorry plus four minus two quantity squared three minus negative one is plus one negative three plus one is negative two squared plus four minus two is two squared when you square a negative number it's always positive so if you're using a calculator make sure you have every negative in parentheses this becomes four this becomes four square root of four plus four square root of eight which is your R, all right? Your radius is square root of eight. Now we'll leave it like that just because, watch what happens. X minus H squared, Y minus K squared, we're using a regular formula. Center point is where the radius comes from, right? Not the edge of the circle. So X minus negative one plus Y minus two equals square root of eight squared. Minus a negative is a positive. Do you remember what square root of eight squared is? Square root of anything squared, the square root and the square just cancel out. So this just becomes eight. X plus one squared plus y minus two squared equals eight, All right? Attempt problem B on your own. Good, I'm glad you got it. Let's see. Same formula, negative five minus negative one. Make sure you do the same thing. Six minus three, All right? Negative five plus one is negative four squared, three squared. 16 and 9, always going to be positive. Anytime you square a negative, it is positive. All right, this second, this step right here, remember what we did in the beginning of the year, always positive numbers. So square root of 25, you could say 5 if you want. You can leave it as square root of 25 also if you like. Plugging it into our formula. D -d 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 -d. H is negative 1, K is 3. X minus negative 1 squared plus Y minus 3 squared equals 5 squared or equals the square root of 25 squared. X plus 1 squared. Y minus 3 squared, 25. And there you go. Good? Hopefully you got that. And like I said before, that's harder than things you'll have to do, but I always like to challenge your brains. Some people get bored. Now, what we're going to do is go backwards. Now, obviously, we're not a class, so we're not compasses. Um, you can just sketch it the best you could. Most of you guys aren't very good drawers. 
but um, just do the best you can. Right, you know what I'm talking about. All right, um, just joking. X minus two squared, um, Y plus three squared equals 16. So let's look. First thing you wanna do is you wanna find the center. You're gonna use these two numbers to find the center. Since it's X minus Y minus, right? X minus two, Y plus three. The formula is X minus the number squared plus Y minus the number squared equals your radius squared, right? So watch how this works. How do I get this to be a negative two? X minus what makes this look like negative two? A two. How do I get this to be a positive three? Y minus what is positive three? A negative three, very good, because minus a negative gives you a positive. Now the square root of 16 is what? Four. So here's our equation. So our center is two, negative three, and our radius is four. How do we draw this? Each one of these things goes by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, negative one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. All right, so center is two, three, one, two over, one, two, negative three down. Our radius is four, so go in any direction four. So I count one, two, three, four to the right, put a point. I usually do it in all four directions. One, two, three, four, put a point. One, two, three, four, put a point. One, two, three, four, put a point. If I don't have a compass, and I draw my circle. Look at that, I did that with my finger. Pretty impressive, right? Good, let's try some more. All right, so what I want you guys to do is, um, first thing, take the equation. Now look at how this works. Number 10, graph it over here. Number 11, graph it over here. Number 12, graph it over here. This was the easiest way to set it up. So number 10, do your problems? Good, let's look. Negative four, two. So your formula is x minus h plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So h is four. Since this is a positive, that's a negative two. Square root of 36 is six. So we go over here. Each one of these units is one. Four minus two. Right, that's our point. And you count six over each direction. All right, six that way, six up, six down. And then I draw my circle. And there you go. If you got that answer, congratulations. If you didn't get that answer, maybe you'll get the next one. Let's look at problem number three, uh, problem number 11. So center, opposite of negative four, sorry, is negative four. The three stays three. Your radius right here, square root of square root of 16 is 4, so we start at negative 4, 3, and then you go over 4, put your point. You go up 4, left 4, down 4, and you have a circle. Look at that, it's perfectly magic. It's almost like I knew that's what the, the graph was supposed to look like before I made the graph for you. All right, problem number 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, center. Negative 8, negative 5, radius square root of 121 is 11. Negative eight, negative five, right? 11, so you can move, look at that, I went up there that time. 11 this way, 11 this way, 11 this way, and then you draw your circle, all right? So if those are what your three circles look like, you are doing great. If not, practice them again. Make up your own problems, do that. Look on vision, all those fun things. All right, so problem 13 and 14. Write the standard equation of a circle with the center. Now we're just gonna do all the things over again. This is like a recap. X minus a negative three, Y minus a negative five squared equals 6.1 squared plus plus 37.2. Okay. What is the equation of this circle? Now each one of these units goes up by two. So this is actually two, four, negative two. Um, the radius here is two, four, right? So let's use it, H minus four minus a negative two. So it just becomes plus two and 16. X minus four squared plus Y plus two squared equals 16. Are we all good? <coughs> Graph the circle. H, negative two, one, squared at nine, three. Oh, went the other way. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I got my circle. Awesome. All right, time to do problem number 16. Now we're gonna go into the more difficult problems. So 
First thing we're going to do is we're going to take an equation that looks kind of funky and weird over here, and we're going to turn it into a typical circle equation. And from that circle equation, we're going to extract what the center and the radius of that circle is. Not all equations are written all nice and clean for you. Sometimes you have to make them clean and clean them up yourself. So let's look. So we're going to find the center and radius of a circle of the following equation. So I'm going to walk you through it the first time, and then you're going to do like four equations on your own. Then we're just going to do a little recap of the whole lesson that we did today. So first step is to group all the x and y's and constants together. What you do here is you take your x's, anything that has an x, you turn them next to each other. Anything you have a y, you put that next to each other and take all the numbers and move them to the right side of the equal sign. So x's and y's on the left, numbers on the right. So if the number's over here, you just subtract or add it, the opposite sign that it is, to get it over here, all right? So it's already grouped for us, so now we can go. So now what we have to do is we wanna get this into this equation. So in order to do that, we have to add numbers to both of these things in order to make a perfect square. So in order to get a perfect square, you have one half b squared and ax plus bx. So what happens is, in case you guys forgot how to complete the square, you have x squared plus, so this is a x squared plus bx plus c. So whatever is next to the variable that is not raised to a power, okay, the x or the y, so whatever that coefficient is, what you're going to do is, you are going to take half of that coefficient, and then you're going to square it afterwards. So watch how this works. Half of negative 4 is negative 2. And negative 2 squared is 4. Okay? Now, the reason you do this is, now, when I take this equation, I can actually put it into this form. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Now, here's the key thing about equations. Equations are like balance beams, right? So, since I added a 4 over here, it gets a little heavier. We're going to go back to, like, what's this, like, 6th uh, grade? So, now it's a little heavier. So, in order to balance it out on this side, I have to add a 4 over there. And now my equation is balanced again. Remember that little balance beam thing? The four makes it heavy. Whatever you do to the left, you have to do the right. That's what you're doing. So next thing you're going to do, you're going to do it with the y. So y squared plus 6y plus something. Whatever's next to the y, you're going to take half of the squared. Half of 6 is 3. 3 squared is 9. Now my 9 makes my equation a little heavier over here to balance it out. Add the 9 to the right. Now my equation is balanced. So why do we do that? Now, whatever this number is, is what you're squaring, right? That goes into our equation. So this equals x minus 2 squared. Now, the reason for that is x minus 2 times x minus 2. If you were to FOIL that, do it on your own, you'll get that as an answer. Because technically, you get negative 2x, um, x squared, and then you get another negative 2x, which is your negative 4x, and negative 2 times negative 2 is... Four. Now over here, this becomes y. There we go. Plus three. All right. Y plus three squared is here. Now on this side, because we balanced it, twelve plus four plus nine, the number is going to change, and it changes to twenty-five. <coughs> all right. So you created a circular equation from all that, and this equals that. They're the same exact answer. If you plug in an x and a y for that you'll get the same x and y value. So, um, because we want this in the circular equation to find for our center, h stays negative 2. This is positive, so in order to make it a k, it's y minus k. So that becomes a minus negative 3. Good still. r squared. Well, r squared equals 25, so that equals square root of 25, which is 5. So our center, h, k, is 2 negative 3, and our radius is 5. Seems a little difficult now. Give me two slides and your confidence, and it will be okay. Okay? Some of you guys are probably frustrated going, what in the world is all this right now? It will be okay. Okay? Breathe. It's okay. Problem number 17. So those of you guys that think you have a handle on it, why don't you try it on your own? If you don't, follow along with me. Go. All right, so first thing, you group. Already grouped. So I got x squared plus 10, y squared and 24. Didn't have to do anything. So everyone should at least got step one. So step two, you're going to find the perfect square. So half of b squared ax plus b, complete the square. 10. Half of 10 squared, 
f of 10 is 5. 5 squared is 25. Since I add 25 to this side, I also have to have 25 to the other side. y squared is by itself. So technically, if you want to do half of 0 equals 0, 0 squared is 0. Just wasting your time. So you don't have to do anything here. 5. x plus 5. y plus 0. You don't even have to put anything there. And equals 24 plus 25, which is 49. In order to put this in the equation, y minus negative 5, 0, square root of 7, uh, square root of 49 is 7. So, if you want to put it into the original circle equation, which you don't have to, it'd be x plus 5 squared plus y squared equals 49. It's the same over here, but we like it in, we like it in this equation because now we know that h is negative 5, we know that k is 0, and we know that your radius is 7. Negative 5, 0, 7. Wasn't that bad, right? <clears throat> Try 18. You finished already? Awesome. So, no hints. Original equation is the same. Perfect square, you're going to use negative 8. Half of negative 8 squared. Half of negative 8 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. Okay? This number always becomes positive. So this is negative 4. Technically, I put it in parentheses. I should, but... Because <coughs> you're squaring the whole entire negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4. Half, half of 6. 3. 3 squared is 9. Y squared plus 6Y plus 9. Now you're going to add the 9 and the 16 to the other side. So 0 plus 16 plus 9. We're going to break these back down into perfect squares. This is going to become x minus 4 squared, right, plus y plus 3 squared equals 0, 16, and 9 is 25. All right, we're going to write this so we can pull out our center and radius. You don't have to do this step if you can do it in your head. x minus 4 squared plus y minus negative 3 squared equals 5 squared. 4, negative 3 is our center, and our radius is 5. Look at that. You all got that, right? Awesome. Last one. This is your do now. So, by now you should know if you got it right or wrong. Group. The only thing different here is, see this 14? Can't be on the left. You have to subtract 14 both sides to move it on the right. If you did not do that, you got your radius wrong. Everything else would have been right but the radius. So, I'll give you a chance to reset, do it again, and let's see if you got it. Half of two is 1. 1 squared is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Half of 14 is 7. 7 squared is 49. y squared plus 14y plus 49 equals negative, 40, negative 14 plus 1 plus 49. All right, this becomes x plus 1 squared, y plus 7 squared, negative 14, 1 and 49 becomes a 36 x minus negative 1 squared, y minus negative 7 squared, and 6 squared. Center is negative 1, negative 7, and your radius is 6. There we go. You guys are masters of this. And this is a question that was always on the NJSLA. Um, they love asking questions like this. That's why I always like going over it right before we take that test. So, you guys should be prepared. Homework. You got about three of these slides real quick. Pretty much what we're going to do is use it as a review. So, first thing, center is 0, 0. The radius is 1, 2, right? You count, because the units are 1. So, basic equation, x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared, which is 4. 1, 2 over, 3 up. Radius is 1, 2, right? x minus 2, x minus, or y minus 3, both squared, equals 4. All right? Units are by 10 here. It's a basic circle, so your center is 0, 0, so it's x squared plus y squared. All right, radius is 20. 20 squared is 400. All right, right here. Um, this is 5, so your center is 5, 0, and the radius is 5, 10. x minus 5, quantity squared plus y squared equals 100. Got it? These go by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Over and 50 up. Right? Radius is 1. Nope. The radius is actually 10. That's what gets a lot of people here. So, x minus 50, quantity squared. 
y minus 50 quantity squared equals 10 squared, which is 100. Right here, one, two. So you're down one over one since the things are threes. It's negative three, negative three. One, two, three times three is nine is your radius. Minus a negative is x plus three quantity squared, y plus three quantity squared, and 81. Those are your six. You can officially create equations from pictures. Now let's see if you can do it backwards. Center, basic equation. So x minus zero squared, y minus zero squared equals radius squared. x squared plus y squared is 49. There you go. x minus four. x minus negative four squared plus y minus one squared equals one squared. Minus a negative is a positive. There you go. So easy. Minus a negative seven, minus a negative six, eight squared, x plus seven squared, plus y plus six quantity squared equals 64. Ready for the last four questions? All right, graph the equation. So if you haven't done so, graph it. Basic equation, center zero, zero. Square root of 49 is indeed seven. So you count seven to the right, seven up, seven left, and draw your circle, and seven down. Three, zero. Square root of 16, four. Four to the right, four up, four left, four down, circle. Got it? Zero, negative two. Whoop. Square root of 36 is indeed six. Six to the right, six up, six down, six left. And let me do it with my finger. Oh, there you go. There's a circle. See, touch screen. Is it or isn't it? All right, last one. Four, one. Square root of one is one. So you got a teeny little circle. Woo. And then we're done. All right. So hopefully you guys did well in this. Um, if you were able to do all these last couple slides, you guys are excellent. What we're going to do tomorrow is, or not tomorrow, we're going to do um, the Kahoot review next. And then after that, you take your test and hopefully you guys do very well. All right. Obviously, there won't be drawn on the test because it's on Canvas, but it is what it is. All right. So everyone be well and see you next time.